Captain's luck. It's currently 11.30 at night. We've decided that our car is a Volkswagen and we're packing it up and going back to bed. So, good night. Okay, it is Saturday morning. We are here at Barber Motorsports Park and we are about to go and see how long our Fox survives. Um, we're hoping everybody gets a turn. We got a nice lineup of drivers here. Um, I'm Tom Sutter from Grassroots Motorsports. I'm Blaine Burnett from Holly Performance. John Chikowski from Nine Lives Racing. Miles Wilson from Warren Beach, Florida. <laughs> Jesse from Spiker Motorsports. And we're gonna see how long we can get a Fox to run, right? And we're gonna win. Yeah. Yes. So probably. this isn't a Fox body? He told me there was a Fox here. It, it's it's Fox is Tinch advisor on your helmet? Eyes up. Okay. You'll be good All to right. go. Fair enough. Yeah. Uh, so Tom's getting ready to get in the car. We got the car all prepped to go on the track. We think um, we got to get in line five minutes. Uh, just buttoning up a few things, zip tying some wires, getting Tom ready, and then we're gonna get on track and see what happens. I'm gonna go out first because I have the most experience at this track and the first 15 minutes of a lemons race is usually pretty crazy with traffic. After that, we're gonna put uh, Jesse in, our first driver, never driven on a road course. We're gonna see how that goes, and uh, then we'll put some more experienced guys in to see if the car held up for it. Okay, I just got out of the car, did about an hour. Um, it's having uh, like fueling issues. Um, it's, it feels like it's surging, like it's losing pressure. Um, pulled into the uh, fire paddock spot. It, the fuel pump is really, really noisy. Not the lift pump in the tank, fortunately, but the, uh, the pump actually under the car. So we're gonna, we have a spare. We're gonna go ahead and change that and hopefully that'll put this thing back on top, get some power. This is our spare fuel pump assembly we stole from the Jetta. And despite driving the car that this was in into the garage, taking this pump out, putting it in the spares box, this pump is now broken. That's the fun of racing Volkswagens. So we went to the parts store. We found a fuel pump for a um, 1988 Ford F-250 uh, with the 302, which is an inline pump that makes 45 PSI. Should be enough for the box. So Jesse's just putting that in right now in place of the original Volkswagen part. And then we should be back out racing. Uh, I love this track. The car's got a whole bunch of questions on it. We're about to find out what those questions are, or what the answers are. So that's kind of exciting. Uh, get to first time I get to watch my own product work <laughs> with the wing being in front of us. So that's gonna be fun. Other than that, yeah, you know, ready to see what happens. on track for 10 minutes or so. Johnny's picked up two positions already. He's passing people. I, uh, I think we fixed it, hopefully. Now we just need to hold together for another two days. We're about to do our first real pit stop and fuel stop. Um, we're gonna switch drivers. Jesse's gonna get in here. We're gonna put a couple of gallons of gas on the car and we're gonna send it back out. Fuel pump fix seems to work, so, so far so good. Hey, nicely done. You didn't crash. 
<laughs> and you passed some cars too. We, yep, gained 10 positions. Yeah, 10 positions, we're up to uh, like 87, or something like that. Right. Yeah, how'd uh, the car feel? Felt like a car. Uh, big brick, the uh, traction was questionable, the yeah. arrow was great. But you could you could feel that wagon, so yeah, you could feel it settle in as soon as you get a little speed in a corner. Yeah. it'll pass yeah. any car here in the corners. Yeah, it is a tough yeah, I, I pass a lot of people around the outside. Yeah, you can pass yeah. inside, outside. You can dive bomb. Yeah, you can early apex, late apex. Right. You can pass in the grass. I mean, really, the entire track is a passing zone except the straight fits. I did bump a beetle. I bump a beetle, but nobody saw it. So okay, it's okay. You're fine. Yeah. You're fine. Yeah, that is in the in the limits rule book. If nobody sees you hit anybody, it is totally okay. Right. You just stay out. And if you're yeah. the Beetle team. So driver stats. Uh you ran a what? I ran a two eleven in the rain. Two eleven, I did a two oh three. Yep, in the dry. Uh, the fastest car in our class. One fifty three. One fifty three is right. Very good. Yeah. Group C car that is. Yeah. But hey, that's that's not our Yeah, those dirty cheaters are cheating way more than we are. Yeah, we need to give yeah. our it's cheating, cheating game more. Out. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. We're definitely letting that <laughs> leaving some on the table. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh I, I did I raised the stakes a little bit. Um I, so I had a spin. Uh, the, the first time it jumped out of fourth gear was uh, right in the kink here, so couldn't feather the throttle and spun it. Um, that means that we now have one penalty on the board. Penalty number two is going to be rough. The first time they say, hey, what happened? You explain yourself, they let you back out. Second penalty, they'll probably make us wait a couple minutes or do the chicken dance or something. The third penalty, we just witnessed a team go through it. Um, they told them they needed to find a penny, a dime, and a quarter, each one with a 1993 mint date on it. <laughs> and once they could bring the handful of change to the judges, they could go back out on track. <laughs> so we really need to keep our noses clean and not go back to the penalty box. And so far, I'm probably the dirtiest racer we got. Yeah, you, you, and I was clean. So yeah. we're good. I mean, the car had some grass fine. in it, and you hit somebody, but no, we're fine. Bump. No issues. Bump. Bump. I see Jesse out there uh, under double yellow right now. He hasn't crashed. He's been out, what, half an hour or so? Yeah, well, yeah. well I yeah, think he's been double yellow the whole time he's been out. So. Yeah, he's been doing great. Yep. Up. Double yellow is a great way to get, uh, get a new driver familiar. Right. So. A lot of fun. Uh, traffic got a little iffy sometimes. It's lemons. There's no real line to follow, but overall I didn't crash the car. I didn't get black flagged, and I went faster than Tom. So I'd say it's a very successful first stint in wheel-to-wheel uh, -wheel racing. So I'm excited to get back out there uh, either later today or tomorrow and see what we get. We are about an hour and 15 minutes away from the end of the race. We are gonna put our last driver in, uh, Miles. So we get suits on so we can go over to the hot side of the pits. Um, so far, so good. No more issues with the car. We're running two 205 minute laps, which is right on pace. Um, we hadn't been out for two hours. We've been doing really, really well in Class C. Okay, our radio just brought us some bad news, which is that our Volkswagen Fox locked up on the back straight. Um, and I found a new hat. Yeah, he got a new hat. So we, we don't know anything except the car stopped. It's a drivetrain issue. After how noisy fourth gear has been and, and popping out of gear the whole day, we're pretty sure our weekend is over and it just yeah. dropped the trans out the bottom. So, so um, we'll it's probably out. It's probably a tooth, fell off, and then Did got... Went on an adventure in inside the trans. So. Yeah. That or Miles doesn't know what he's talking about. Or and he's wrong. Maybe the maybe the shifter fell out. You know? Yeah, it'll maybe. be fine. He's yeah. wrong. Maybe yeah. it's fine. It's maybe fine. it's the brakes. It's 
fine. It was great. Maybe he just yanked the e-brake instead of fifth. Yeah, maybe he was trying to shift with the handbrake. Time to look for Fox transmissions. <laughs> Quantum diesel. How bad is the noise? Uh, the fluid that Tom thought was ours is not ours. It's just a lemons casualty, but... Uh, I think... Watch out, man. What happened? Well, as soon as I was entering two, the wheel started becoming off center. Okay. I felt something wrong in a braking zone. As soon as I was under braking, it was darting. At that point, trying to get towards the back, I was just trying to stay out of traffic and nurse it back to the pit, but it didn't want to go any what, further. Were any noises coming out of the car? Uh, not, not until it popped out of gear and locked up. So it popped out of gear and yes. locked up at the I same time? Towards, we're on the back stretch, and then chunk. Okay. Would not go into gear when I was stopped either. As you can see, we are a little bit screwed. Um, what happened was, our wheel, as best we could tell, our wheel bearing failed, started to get play, started to work the axle nut loose on, uh, on our axle. Axle nut would have been here in keeping this whole assembly pressed together. And uh, eventually, nut backed off, wheel bearing failed completely, our wheel tried to come off. Fortunately, the brake caliper bracket held the rotor, kept it from being catastrophic, but now we have to put this uh, wheel bearing together and, and fix all of this. We have a new axle, so that won't be too hard. Tighten all back up and hope it doesn't happen again. We've gone a dramatic search to find a hub because clearly fourth gear didn't explode yet. And now we need to fix this hub. We found one in an advanced auto sports in Pelham, Pelham, Alabama. Never heard of this town before, but they apparently have one. So I'm about ready to give them a shout. Make sure they have put hands on it, and uh, then we'll drive up there and go get it. So, give it a shot. Cool. All right. okay. The best tool ever. Fancy, I know. We have our uh, suspension upright out of the Fox. We have a ruined wheel bearing. We're gonna go buy a wheel bearing 45 minutes away. We're gonna buy a press at Harbor Freight so we can actually change it, and uh, then we're gonna be back out on track. Uh, we managed to find the only hub in the south, wasn't it? Pretty much. The only hub in the south. There's not even one in Atlanta uh, for a fo for a Fox. Uh, so we're gonna we were lucky enough to be 45 minutes away from the shop that had it. So we ran over there, grabbed it, picked it up, brought it over here. We're about ready to start doing some pressing once Blaine here gets done uh, assembling this press, and then uh, we're gonna be cracking about all night with our coffee. This weekend, or Dang so it. far, I'm the fastest driver. Not Tom. Tom's I actually. Gotten any time in dry weather. Tom's actually the slowest driver. I've only driven in the rain. Today. And, the, and sec the second fastest driver was Jesse Spiker. Right. For the record. Who's never driven Who's on a never racetrack driven before? On a right. Racetrack. So, there's a lot of surprises going on. Not not the surprise that I'm the fastest. I was surprised fastest, when right. the wheel fell off. You right. Yeah, you were surprised when the wheel fell off. Yeah, yeah. correct. So lots of surprises going on. Yeah. So this bad fell. Okay. So yeah, speed. Okay, we have our new wheel bearing pressed into our upright here. Um, we went to press in the hub, only to realize that it is no longer a press fit like it should be. Um, and we can see that this has actually been machined a lot, and, and the rust and the pitting tells us that we weren't the only ones that have had this spinning and a wheel bearing effectively creating our own little miniature lathe. Um, it has a little bit of slop, not too much. We're gonna put it back together. Worst case, it rolls on the trailer. Uh, best case, we decide to take it out and do some parade laps with it. But we need to find a hub, so we'll see what we can do. Captain's luck. It's currently 11.30 at night. We've decided that our car is a Volkswagen and we're packing it up and going back to bed. So, good night. So. Overall, we had a good weekend. Everybody got to drive. We ran nearly a full day. Um, we all ran faster than Tom. 
Yeah. I, I only had a range. Every spin. last on. one of us Come was on. faster than Tom, and I. I was the. Was the fastest. I was by far the fastest driver in the rain. No. For the record. Yeah. Yeah. You had to speed that. That doesn't count. That doesn't count. Overall. Um, no, we, we expected to do a couple hours and maybe get all of our drivers through because new car, new race. We, we really thought we were going to be chasing issues all day to run most of the day without issues. Be happy. Yep. So we'll fix it. We'll come back. We'll win. It goes without saying, we all had a great time. Yep. The uh, barber staff here is amazing. Uh, the grounds are beautiful as he, always. You'd like to thank the academy. I'd like to thank every yeah everybody, and uh, and the team was great. So yeah, I, can't, I don't think we could have had a better weekend other than the car not. Really yeah. Support brands that support grassroots motorsports. Get your chemical solutions from CRC Industries. Visit crcindustries.com to learn more.